Rose, this nightgown is so sheer, I believe you can see right through it. Oh, hello, Fidel. Hello, Blash. How are you? You don't have cataracts, you tell me. Beat it, you 50-year-old mattress. Oh, why, you, you miserable old... Blanche, 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 you know the rules. When one of you is out with Fidel, the other one does not interfere. My apologies. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a long, hot, steamy bath with just enough water to barely cover my perky bosoms. <laughs> You're only going to sit in an inch of water? behave in a more civilized manner. You're right. I apologize, Fidel. So do I. Well, good night. Good night. I'll see you at noon for lunch and six for dinner. Ten for dancing? Midnight for dessert. <laughs> dessert at midnight? <laughs> There's always room for jello. <laughs> I just hate you. <laughs> I regret the day you ever moved in here. And I regret the day I gave birth to you. <laughs> Ma, Ma, <laughs> I'm your daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fidel isn't coming. Where is he? We are gathered here today to honor the memory of a man who has suddenly been taken from us. What are you looking at me for? Just keep talking. <laughs> Fidel Santiago was a very special man. He was kind, caring, and loving. He was a man who brought joy into the lives of all he touched. <laughs> I have the feeling he touched every behind him. Fidel Santiago lived life. Excuse he... me, Father. Uh, hold that thought. Which of you was Fidel's girlfriend? Oh? He had his burrow hitched to ever bed post in town. <laughs> but that's good news, girls. That means your cheap animal-like lust didn't have anything to do with killing the girl. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not about to mourn a man who's been with every woman in this room. He was never with me. I guess even he had his standards. <laughs> If you don't mind my saying so, I think you lost control of the room. <laughs> Excuse me. The man in that box was a bum. <laughs> a scoundrel, a cheat, and a liar. You got that right. Quiet. I work alone. <laughs> but there was another side to him. And it was beautiful. He awakened feelings in me I haven't felt in 35 years. We used to hug and kiss and hold hands. And it was, it was nice. He made me feel attractive and desirable again. He probably made the rest of you feel that way too. And looking out at this kennel club, that was no small accomplishment. <laughs> you may all hate Fidel right now, but I know the next time I'm sitting in the park on a warm, sunny day, and I smell the aroma of a cheap cigar. I'll think of Fidel Santiago. And I'll smile. Oh, Ma, that was very sweet. Just lovely, Sophia. Sophia, can you ever forgive me for all those ugly things I said? Of course I can. It was said in the heat of battle. You know, if I had it all to do over again, I'd let you have Fidel. Oh, you're so generous. The man's packing material, now you're letting me have him? I have contracts livelier than him. She's given him to me. The man's face has more powder on it than Ann Miller's, and she's given him to me. A piece of lumber would make a better dancing partner. Thanks for the echo.